G'day mate, welcome back to, or welcome to Satisfactory with me, JD, because this is possibly the first video of the channel you happen to have seen. So, in case you've been living under a rock, update 3 for Satisfactory has been released. Um, I'll actually link a video up the top right hand corner. It's about 30 minutes long, it goes over all the new things that came out in update 3. Long and short of it is, I'm starting a brand new series, and um, being a Factorio player for years now, Factory building, base building, it sort of comes pretty natural to me. Um, Satisfactory does have the issue, the conflict, the whatever you want to call it, is because you're building in 3D, you have no automated building like you do in Factorio. It's a little bit slower, but we have plans. We have plans on how to get around that. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go off to the brand new experimental area. Uh, I'm going to set this up for, I don't know, uh, JD up day three and we're gonna skip the onboarding process now if you haven't seen the onboarding process well if you haven't seen it by now perchance say you have a new a brand new copy um, it's really really good but I'm fairly confident we can skip that okay um, if you're just grabbing the game for the first time, the onboarding process, it's 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 really self-explanatory. It does take you through some of the real basics of the game. Um, and with that, we're in the game. Now, we are starting in the new desert biome. And I actually already have a starting location picked out. It's that rock there. Yeah, I still love the... the... We just need to test the Xeno Zapper. Just make sure it works. So that's going to be our starting sort of location. And the main reason for that is, well, the main reason for that is, as I was saying, Satisfactory is a somewhat slower paced game. Um, because it's in 3D, because there's lots of foundation, well, uh, lots of lots of base building in 3D and foundations and all sorts of things we end up putting down, it takes a little bit longer Data to get things... This is a mix of sulfide and sulfate minerals. It could be an indication of recent volcanic activity. A new research tree exploring volatile self-defense applications can now be accessed in the MAM. Come on, Hog. You gonna come say hello? Our first combat. Come on, you need like two more hits. There we go. First hog down. The remains of this creature might shed light on how to increase chances of survival. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. So, um... This semi-slug seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings which could potentially be retrofitted into Fixit technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. You're not going to let me talk at all, are you, Ada? This mineral shows purity levels akin to synthetic quartz manufactured on Earth and can be used to improve communication and exploration technologies. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. So up here we have Sim Simba's Rock. I'm pretty sure, you know, you're all fairly familiar with, you know, Simba, Lion King, blah, 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 blah. This is where we need to clear out because we're going to put our base down here. And I don't really want to take on two of you at once. Just one. <sighs> Preferably just one, please. Ow. Next. Ow. All right. I've lost count of how many hogs there that is. That's an alpha hog. He's extra nasty. Um, so we're going to go take out all these friends first. And then hopefully we'll have a starting area. Okay. Pride Rock, that's what it's called. Come on. Then I'll show everybody what's the rock and what we're doing on the rock. There we go. Okay, so this is Pride Rock. 
And the reason we're going to set up here is one, the excellent view of this is going to be our starting base. Two, we have iron reasonably close. It's a little bit further away than I'd like. Uh, 300 meters. So there's iron there, iron there, and iron there, and over there somewhere. We have copper, which is reasonably close as well. 300 meters, that's copper. We've got copper over there. We also have limestone. Again, it's reasonably close. Oh, 200 meters over there. Um, this also gives us plenty of stuff to burn for fuel. Uh, more importantly, the biggest difference about this series is probably in this episode, um, I'm actually going to install in probably the top left, top right, don't know, it's going to happen in editing and post-production, is I'm actually going to have a second character on the in the game with me. Providing I can take it a boss hog. Um, who's extra mean and has an extra attack and... Uh, ow. Ow. Okay. Can't jump over you. Good to know. We're just going to pick up this real quick. Is there any food locally that I can see? Because I'd love a few more hit points. Sulfur. Oh, we got some sulfur. No. 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 No to food. No to food. No to food. Okay. Um, I might do a quick time lapse of me trying to take out Boss Hog. I have a feeling this may cause my death. Uh, hopefully only once. Um, we will see. Because we're not really not meant to fight with these guys just yet. But he's sort of going to be in the way of me building. Ooh. No, I don't have walls. I was just going to build walls around him. Come on. Oh, that really hurt. That really, really hurt. Okay, okay. Uh, I have no problem cheating to take this guy out. He's way too big for us to legitimately beat. So, with that out of the way, this is going to be our starting biome. So we're going to be starting, and there's also a cave down here. Pigment could be harvested from these that's petals and turned into full of dye. nasty things that a we're not going to play with just now. now be accessed in the map. Um, at least I'm fairly sure it's full of nasty things. So... As I was saying, um, I'm going to be setting up a second point of view in this game. And up in the top left hand corner, you're going to be able to see sort of like an overview of what's happening um, by putting a second character up there. So, with that said, I need to load up a second player. So, we're going to pick out a spot for our hub. Which is going to be obviously at the bottom of the plateau, because why not? 
hopefully as close to the ground as possible. And I'm going to go get that second player and dump them up there. Well, after way longer than it should have been, we have our second character up here. And done! We have a clap, we have a character. I need to go zoom the other screen, so we're just going to... One sec. And now, we should be good to go. So, we have one character up on Pride Rock. And yes, it's a whole new day, in fact. Or it's about to become nighttime. I don't know which. Um, but we're finally getting... It's about to come nighttime. Yeah, it's sun setting. All right. So we're going to get our hub built finally. This took way longer than it should have. Um, turns out the other machine's now hosting the game because I couldn't host the game. Um, so we have tier zero done. Great. First thing's down. Uh, next thing is... We're actually going to want logistics before anything else. Or the man. That's inventory slots. I don't know. We'll work that out in a second. Uh, we are going to get rid of all these flashy things. Uh, we do have basic rudimentary power. Uh, we want to... First off, look at my inventory. Um, dump our biomass in here. Uh, along with research items. Uh, that can go in there. Coal can go in there. Limestone can go in there. And we're going to go out in search of iron, of course. Which, from memory, is still this direction. 400 meters, 500 meters, 400 meters. So none of them are close. Good start, JD. Uh, nope, B is the button I want for the torch. Uh, so we really need iron before anything else. Uh, there's also going to be this particular biome is very common with critters that are not often happy to see you. Pick up the work in progress. Yoink. Uh, hey, there's a couple of irons. Okay. Uh, and now we have a whole new critter type. This is a spitter critter type. Uh, actually, please be iron. Go away. Just 20 seconds. Come on. Ow. Uh, my health is still a little bit low from dealing with the last guy. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Ow. Okay. You be dead. Um, do we happen to have any food in this direction? Nope. Just a couple of trees to get us started. Well, a bit of wood. Alright. But we got down some miners. We'll pick up the wood. We'll collect what iron we have. Uh, in theory... Although, I think this iron is probably too far away. Production. Now, we've only got 128 iron. It would literally use up all the iron we have. Uh, is it worth it? Just because iron is so far away. Four hundred meters, which is going to use about four hundred pieces of iron. Uh, all right. Uh, we're gonna 
start handcrafting because I don't see a reason why not to. Also means I can just speed up time a little bit because you guys don't need to see me handcrafting stuff. So, quick time lapse. Okay, after way too much handcrafting, uh, and I don't even think we can pick up our miners. No. Nope. We're going to actually... Thank you. Uh, we're going to end up trashing... Hello? Please? Can you... We... Uh, I will pick you up in half a sec. We are going to set up automation very, very early, I've decided. Uh, we're going to put down our first miner. And we're going to start running belts all the way back to base. Um, I'm sort of hoping I've crafted enough belt. Sort of. Well, definitely. Uh... It's about 400 meters to base, which means, in theory, uh, in theory, if I have 400 pieces of iron, I should make it. Uh, it's whether or not I have enough concrete and iron sticks as well. Um, this is definitely suboptimal if you want a quick start. But look, you guys do not want to watch me run back and forth from this iron depot or this iron deposit or any other iron deposit or any other deposit outright um, for the next I don't know how many hours. So we're going to go a little bit a long way. Oh, I had plenty of iron left over. A little bit a long way around doing things. And we're going to set up some really early automation. So we want a smelter. Um, we're going to try and keep things somewhat compact to start with. Uh, please reach. Hey! We want power to a power pole to one generator to two generators. We actually need to visit the craft bench before I turn on power. Uh, we want to convert our wood into biomass because it's a lot more efficient. Uh, I'll take that, and I'll take that. Uh, and actually, we'll take that as... Oh, come on. Gimme, gimme. Uh, it won't fit. We want to convert our wood into biomass and our leaves into biomass. Again, it's just more efficient. Uh, it burns for longer. Uh, that, that, that. And I want to take out the limestone so I can convert that into concrete yeah if you haven't already worked out because uh, you just got the game brand new uh, speaking of game brand new um, I am predicting that it's going to re be releasing on Steam very very no wrong one very very soon um, probably around about the 20th of March because that would be the end of one year exclusivity on uh, Epic Games, or the Epic Store. Uh, if you have not grabbed it on the Epic Store, it is currently on sale um, for a couple more days at... I'm trying to think the price. Uh, it's 10% off, so it's 30... Uh, $27, $27. Okay, and we're going to want a storage container on the end of this, because I don't know what I want to do with the iron yet and we're going to store our very very first iron ingots now I have more than enough materials I can start hand feeding this whilst I wait for well I, I wait for ore to finally flow down this belt um, that clips through I can't stand the clipping uh, you out to there. 
better. Uh, it's too high for me to jump on. That's unfortunate. Oh, power. I need to run power back. I knew I was forgetting something. Uh, in that case, we might put a storage container in here. We're going to run into that machine. We're going to run out of that machine. I'm going to come in here and we're going to dump all our iron ore. Yep. We're going to pick up the ingots we've already started making. 48. I'll take them. And if I can jump in here, good. Uh, we're going to dump off that and that and that. And now we need to go with a power pole. We're going to put one here so I have spare cat power with me and see how far we can get. Because I don't have copper source, don't forget, at this stage. And I am running as fast as I can go, which is not nearly fast enough. Uh, top of the ridge. Top of that ridge. That'd be really nice. Wire is too long. Okay. That ridge. Uh, that ridge, maybe. Uh, right there. And then you're hooked up. Hey! Miner number one. Now, this guy is going to produce 60 iron ore per minute. And our smelter currently only does 30 iron per minute. There we go. First iron ore. Oops. Which also means now I can run back on the belts. And one of the new things in update 3 is... Come on. That's it. Slide. So I can now... At least the downhill sections of the belt, I can slide down. Yeah. Need a bit more momentum. Or a bit of a steeper incline. Like so. So that's producing uh, 60. It means our smelter is not actually going to be fast enough. With just one smelter doing 30. So we need to get a production smelter... Uh, rotate you in some direction that works. Uh, logistics. I don't have splitters. Okay. Can I please? Thank you. Um, we need copper. All right. Scratch that plan. Uh... We're going to take that and run that in there. We're going to pick you up. We're going to put a... Uh, just, no, organization storage container. I'm going to dump that there. With a smelter there. And another storage container. There. Out of you. Into you. Out of you, into you. You're going to do iron ingots. I'm then going to dump the iron that I had in me in here. And we just need to give you power. And then we need to go on to the quest for copper ore. Please be close. 300 meters. Not really. 500 meters and... 500, 500, 300. Okay, looks like we're going this way for copper ore. I have no iron sticks on me. So let's just grab all of this. We're going to... Production. I want you in taskbar number zero because we're going to be using this a fair bit. We're going to want some iron rods. And I'm going to need copper when I get there. And when I get there, we'll just have to do another binge of handcrafting. Meanwhile, um, at least whilst I'm away, 
you guys should be able to see me wandering off in the top left hand corner hopefully I, I don't know how the resolution is going to look to be honest um, if you have a 14440p monitor you can always set the video to the higher 1440p quality um, let's think about this JD you're about to run off in the direction of where you want stuff how about you take power with you power is definitely not going to get very far Oh, we can get it somewhere. Uh, power. There, 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 there. Come on. There we go. Uh, hopefully avoid clipping through th through things. Wire too long. Uh, Hundred and seventy meters. It's right here. Maybe I have enough? Maybe. We'll pick up another whip. These are all part of the storyline. That's all we know so far. Uh As long as I don't need copper. I don't need copper for a miner. Oh, good. We should be in business. So, first things first, I've got to remove this node off the top. So, get your chisel out. Start cracking away at it. Seeing we will rock you at the same time. Uh, and power line into that one. It's another no. Oh, no. It's an impure, is it? It's an impure node. So this only does 30, which should be fine. It should be enough that we should be able to run one smelter off it. Well, we can run one smelter off it. Um, which means we don't have to worry about splitters and other things that we don't have access to just yet. Uh, I'm sort of glad I handcrafted so much iron early, early on. That was wrong. Uh, there. Take that up two notches. Take that up to max height of four. That way hopefully I can get over the ridge and down the hill a little bit. Uh, that's as far as I can get anyway. And... Then we're going to want a smelter, which I don't have any copper for, but that's okay. We can take what we already have, handcraft up our, our, our copper into ingots, craft ourselves some wire, and then we should be good to get a smelter down with at least a storage container, okay? I, at least if it's here, it means I can then handcraft it. So yeah, the game, early game has definitely changed. Handcrafting is much slower. Um, it really does pay to automate things a little bit quicker. Uh, this is one of the reasons this, this episode is going to be... I, I fully know this episode might be a little bit longer than, than I intend. Um, but I, I really want to have... I really want to have really, really early automation stuff set up. Uh... Really? That was it. That was the last of the iron plates. Uh, back to the crafting bench we go. Okay, plug that in there. Plug in power. Set you to be copper. We want an organization. We want a storage container. Because we don't want this to stop running ever. Uh, meanwhile. I 
okay. We're now at the point where you need a storage container in the middle. Uh, it turns out I can't afford that. <sighs> Alright, so the very, very next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get some constructors set up and we're going to have to start producing at least iron plate, iron rods and wire um, from our three construction lines. So we want to put the storage container there, feed that in, feed that out, um, because this smelter can only deal with 30 items per minute and our miner all the way back there is doing 60. Uh, iron ore can go in there and the idea is this will back up right about now no it's got a little bit of an internal buffer it's going to need to fill up but once that buffer's filled up this box will fill up and I should be able to grab stuff from here and shove it in there and keep this smelter running uh, okay so next thing in the production line is we need some constructors now I have enough materials to make four of these that's it um, anything above and beyond that I need to start handcrafting um, the reinforced iron plates which is fine like I said there is going to be some handcrafting in this game uh, early on we want iron plate because that's definitely something we're running out of and which is going to lead to us being out of power uh, Power circuit notification. Fuse has been triggered. Be sure to check out power circuits from time to time. Not enough power to satisfy the demand of the grid. Short circuit will bring all buildings connected to the grid to shut down until you reset the fuse and meet the re uh, re required demands for power. Check it. Check it out. Okay. Check it out at fixit.bit. Okay. Alright. So if we remember early on, I only fed one of the two fuel generators. Yeah. Uh, take that out. We're going to split that stack in half. I'm going to put half in there and half in there. I'm going to run both of them now. There we go. Yeah, we just ticked up to that limit. Uh, now, they're only going to burn fuel as fast as they require to to meet uh, demand. So. If I have 20 of those, then they're only going to run at really, really slow paced. Uh, but copper's now running. You're going to produce iron plates. I don't have to put the storage containers because they do have an internal buffer in them. Uh, we might just abuse the internal buffer for just a moment whilst they stack up some stuff. We want production constructor. Nope, I'm out of stuff again. Uh, take all of those back to this craft bench. We want cable this time. And we'll make, we'll turn the rest of the copper into wire. Okay, so we wanted a constructor, which we're going to pop right here. Uh, and then I need to give you a power connection. And if we bring up power, we can see this already got four or four on it. That one's got four or four on it. That's my next closest at two or four, which I could run all the way over here. But realistically, if I pull the power wire off that smelter, duplicate the power pole I've freed up a slot which I'm now running over to here and then into there and that gives me a free power slot to run to here which we're going to make you make iron rods now this only uses 15 per minute so it means this box will potentially back up with excess uh, iron ingots which is perfectly fine with me um out of iron plate so we're going to raid some iron plate out of this machine which is still filling up its internal buffer we could put a storage container uh, there and one more constructor this is my second to last constructor 
It's very carefully managed on... Oh. No fuel. No fuel. Okay. Alright. Whilst we have no fuel, we'll just finish off these last few things. Uh, we want you a storage container there. We're going to run that in there, providing I had one more piece of iron. Do I have... Yep. Yep. Uh, you would go into there, you would do copper cable, you would have a power line to there, and that's us done. That's our super, 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 super early automation. We've got iron plates automated, we've got co copper cable automated over here, and we have... Um, no, this is the only one that's not set up with storage container. Uh, storage container. One iron plate short. Uh, storage container. And a connection. Alright, so that's episode one. That is our very, very first automation. I need to go picking off to go grab some biomass that we can burn. Um, at the same time... Um, we might have to rush this research. Um, just to get more reliable power. I can build more... Biomass burners. I can build more power plants. But operating them is going to be a whole different thing. Uh, no, we're still going to have to get logistics first. Th there's going to be some researches we need to cover, but I'll work them out before the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed it. By the same token, tell me what you think of the, um, the, the I don't know, the, the eye in the sky up in the corner. Um, and also, tell me what you think. Top left, top right. I went with top left. That way it covers the, the early access experimental build, um, which my attitude is... Um, Coffee State Studios have decided that's a corner. They're not going to put any uh, any GUI in or anything like that. So it should be a safe corner to use. Um, but yeah, that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the very next episode. All right, bye.